back to the Aberdeen Career Mode, guys. In today's episode, we are going to be getting to our game against Dundee United. Now, I want to quick, quickly just um, say something. Um, we played Rangers in the League Cup, in the Scottish Cup, and we got beat. We played Hibs and Hearts, and we also got beat by them. And that I was going to film it all, but I got a brand new phone, and I lost everything. Well, I, I lost... I didn't lose the clips. I lost, like editing so i thought you know what too much editing i'll just leave it and we'll get straight into the episode so we are playing against dundee united at well it's court lane but obviously at tanadice and we are obviously going to be in with a very tough game because obviously in real life Aberdeen did not do well in this game so we're not going to say any more about it so we're going to get straight into the game and hope that we can do better than what we did than what Aberdeen did in real life. So, honestly, I'm kind of looking forward to it. Um, big game. They're cur they're currently one point ahead of us. So if we do win, we will go ahead. We will go in front. Of we will go ahead of them in the league table. So let's get right into the action. See so if we can get a wee through ball to Mielski. There we go. He through shoots. What a save! That is a cracking save from the keeper. Bielsi should be burying that. It's not a good corner. And it's gone to Bidigiti. Rath attacking on that right hand side. Stuart, come on, you got that. Stuart, oh, okay, right, Stuart's not won it. Tony Watt, that's a very good save from Cal Ruse. Down United putting the pressure on. Got a corner now. Done well, done. Um, McGrath and Levitt. Here is uh, someone, and it's a good save from Cal Ruse. On the back foot a wee bit, must say. Definitely on the back foot. Okay, Paulette. Oh, I don't want him scoring. Ruse makes another save, puts it up for another corner. So they're going to take this one short. And they do. McGrath. Oh, I should have got, got a hang of that by now. I've done it three times. McGrath. Levitt, here's Harks, scales us. Is that another corner? Oh my goodness. Was that like the fifth or fourth corner? Something like that, I don't know. Alright, pull it. grew. Another save by Ruse and another corner. This is just taking up the time. Come on, let's just get this one away. Oh, thank God. Alright, Clarkson. Drive. Inside. See what he can do. Over the top, Mioski. Win that. It's going to be a foul. For Daniel. And Coulson. Power shot. Yeah, it's blocked. McCrory. Oh, brilliant. Clarkson. Oh, what a finish from Leeson Clarkson. It's absolutely gone sh oh god I'm gonna mix up my words it's gone straight into the top right hand corner and Leighton Clarkson has scored another worldie honestly that is a sensational finish from the wee scouser is he scouse? might be but honestly it could not be more happy with that one beautiful strike but I guess he couldn't get that one thankfully but we are now 1-0 up against Dundee United that's his fourth goal of the season it's very good to see Clarkson get on the score sheet like that. Um, that's that. Yeah, his fourth goal. Um, he scored. I don't know how many. Um, I don't know if that maybe it's like his first world year or something. I can kill someone that. Okay, I didn't actually work out his planned. We have got a free kick. Tried to chip it across and he chipped it straight towards him. Let's chip this one into the box. Put a lot of power on it. It's a good ball. Ramadani Mielski on the volley. Wait, what? Um, oh, hello, Jess. It's really annoying when my cats get in the way of the videos. Um, I mean, I can't fault them, the cat flaps in this room. Um, oh, then yeah, you got attack. Don't you dare, don't you dare. Yeah, okay. Uh, it's 1 1. What I was going to say was, I don't know how on earth that was a foul from Mielski. He must have either touched his hand or uh, he couldn't have been offside, so it must have touched his hand. So, bit unfortunate, but. We are 1-1. One, one. 
and Ken, oh, Ray will flick with Matt and Ken, they always works. Well, most of the time. No one's in the box, so Mielski on the edge. Clarkson again. Finesse shot. That's. I aimed top right and, well, right hand side of the goal. And he put it kind of down the middle, so I would say that's the game's fault. Don't want to blame EA, but kind of is. And now this cannon on the left. Into Harks. Tony Watt. Shoots. We just could save that any day of the week. Oh, Ramadani, thank God. Brilliant from McCrory. Here's Jane Richardson. Into Basarin. Use that pace, Benny. Use that pace. You're way quicker than McMahon. In the box. See McCrory on the edge. Clarkson, whoever. McCrory on the volley. McGethy was always saving that. And we... Okay, so... I don't understand that one either. I couldn't tell you what happened. Honestly, I mean, it must have been a foul on the Dunyati player. But that's what it seemed. Yeah? Be quiet. Sorry. Oh, here's Peter Pollitt. Well in, Stuart. Matty Candy. He's got a lot of space. I'm not going to play to Miofsky. Power shot. Hits it. Oh my goodness, that was close. How is Coulson getting booked? What? Can I show me a replay? Because I want to know. Oh, that's soft. That is soft. Flipping heck. That was um, lucky from... Oh my gosh, I should have won that. Mielski was just caught napping. And Danieta got away with one there. Stewart blocked it, but deflected it, but it's still it, Danieta. Pardon me. Oh, and this cannon. Stewart, get in there. Well, and Stewart, oh, and this cannon still got it. Oh, Ruse, just get it away, one of his. Oh my gosh. It's again, end up at half time, but that was a bit of a, a worrying end to the um, first half there. Oh my god, it's all from Derby. 1-1 one, one currently. Um, nothing really interesting in the score, so we'll get into the second half. Oh, that any day of the week. No, oh, no, that was dodgy. That was, he's been doing that in a lot in real life. Um, Anthony Stewart, and he's just done it in game. What? Oh, gee, that was close. <laughs> that was a close one. From Tony Watt. Could have easily hit the back of the net. It's a good ball. Yelsey's won the header. Drive Kennedy. And Smith has won the ball there. Now Tony Watt. Into base. She was the guy who scored the first goal against Aberdeen. And Bruce makes a good save coming out in the 1v1. Get the link up play going. Ramadani. So we'll make a run. Please, one of these. No one made the run, but it's fine. Mielski. I see McCrory in the box. Bang. It's a pen. It is a pen. Perfect. Okay. Got a penalty. <coughs> Top right. Oh, man. That sucks. I just can't score penalties. I just can't. Oh, jeez. It's not won that. Sorry, win that, please. Clarkson, Ramadani, Crowley, Basarin, finesse shot, Ross Graham makes a block, back in, that was terrible from McCro um, Kennedy, absolutely terrible. But I just might be playing like Cinnamon or something, because he's, he played left back against Aberdeen and he's maybe played, maybe that's one of his positions, don't you dare. Yes, Ruse, get up again. Oh my, he just scored a tap in. The lucky, lucky, lucky person. Oh, it's not. I don't like. I don't like us actually. The bootsy. Where's he? Where's red Mizuno's? Not the um, silver grey ones. Gave me some subs now. Um, Morris has come on for Kennedy. Duke's come on for Miofsky, and uh, Barron's come on for Clarkson, and Hayes has come on for Coulson. So, some nice wee changes there. We're two one down, so we're going to need to. If we, if, we, if we want to win, we've got to get two goals. If we want to get a point, we've got to get one. Baron. 
Cody, I'm not left foot. Humble. Yes. I'm not a penalty. Okay. Please. Okay, kid. Just focus. I can score this. Duke's taking it. Uh, who else can take? I guess maybe. I will give. We'll give it. To, I will give it to Pursuit. Give it to Pursuit. Oh God, this is taking too long. Pursuit. No, 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 no. I timed it wrong again. Oh, Kian. What have I done? I'm gonna get third now. No, no. Oh. Thank God. Oh my. Oh, goodness me. This is just giving me flashbacks of the actual game. At least I didn't miss two penalties. Oh, you're joking. It had to be Glenn Middleton as well. Oh, come on. Just get one. Get a consolation goal. Well, I'm not really a consolation. Saren in. Oh, my God. How is he not putting that in the back of the net? Just giving them, a f giving them the ball f uh, back and, like, free for them there. Stuart. Oh, my. Oh. God. Yeah, it's it literally, it's exactly like the Dunyate game in real life, apart from Aberdeen scoring and the timing of the goals. And Stewart scoring their own goal. Ruse is at fault, and Stewart, I think Ruse is actually at fault more than Stewart, because Stewart's heading it back, and Ruse's leg goes through his hands. I don't care, just I'm going to shoot. Well, like, ping it and see if I score. Yep. Might as well. 4 1 loss for the Nyad. Not good whatsoever. And that just puts us even further down in the table now. That's re that's it. So I've lost against Hearts, Heads off camera, and now we've lost the Nyad. So, honestly, couldn't be worse. So after that game, we now sit in seventh place, which is not good whatsoever. We're playing St. Mirren next who are above us by three points. So if we do win, we will go above them. So we're going to need to win this one. At home to St. Mirren. It looks like we're seeing that Bissouin is the assist leader. So I kind of feel like I'm going to start him. I'm going to start Duke and Johnny Hayes. And I think maybe Baron as well. So do you know, actually, no, do you know what? I haven't played Mackenzie yet. So I'm going to give Coulson a rest. And Chuck McKenzie in there. So wait, was that Dragovic? Is he not? Okay, he's not on the team. I was going to say it's one of the youth players. So that's the team we're going with. Um, did we, get, we got beat by St. Brown last time we played them. So let's hope to turn it around on our home pitch. And let's try and get... We, we need to get three points after three defeats in a row. So try and get back on track with a good win against St. Brown. Now Duke... Can just drive. Now into Pesewin. Surely we're going to get the goal now. He's through on goal. 1v1 against the keeper. Finesse shot to the far post. And it's rocketed into the back of the net. Vicente Pesewin gets us back. It uh, gets us into... Uh, actually, it's the first game for about four games where we've actually took the lead first. And it's a beautiful finish from the young Dutchman. Ran through them all with his blistering pace and shot a beautiful strike into the back of the net. In that situation, poor Trevor Carson was probably never going to save it. But that is another goal for Bissau in the sea. I actually don't know what that puts him on, but we'll see. We can find out after the game through stats. And I guess that's us. And now in the driving seat, we're on the front foot and we are now in the lead. So that's obviously going to be a big help when we could. That could be cut short, and yeah, I had to. As soon as I say it, they equalise. <sighs> Pete's sake! Oh man, I oh, just said Pete's sake out of randomness because I've heard it be used before. If it's inappropriate, I apologise, but I've heard it used before. Uh, okay, well that was good from I Just gave him the ball easily. That's Grieve who just got a, uh, just scored for St Mirren. Scales has done well once again. Kennedy, she's that pace over the top for Duke. And if he wins that, should be another goal. Yep, yep, jinxed it. I need, I actually need to stop saying that because every time I say stuff like that, 
it never happens. We end up losing the ball or missing the chance. And that did happen. Okay, let's see what we can do. Whip it in. Good ball, Stuart, please. Yes, get in there. What a header for the captain. Obviously, in the last step, in the last game, put it in his own net. And this game, puts it in the net. He absolutely rockets it into the back of the net. No keeper saving that. And look at that. The fans are all celebrating that. St. Mirren fans are all upset. We're back in the league. I don't want to jinx anything because the St. Mirren could equalise. But Tebow had to stand still and just fall to the ground. Put his hands up and fall to the ground. Because that was all he could do. Because nothing was stopping that. Hitting the back of the net. And we are now back in the lead of this game. Let's not jinx anything. That's the last I'm going to say about it. Could end up conceding an equaliser. Just got to defend now. All we got to do. Just thank God we saved that. Very easily could have been the equaliser. But Samaran do have a corner. Their chance is still alive. But Scale should get that away. And he does. So Sarin's won that. Let's see if we can just... Uh, rainbow flick it's not worked seems like we only work on our uh, work with candy so I'll note that in my mind and we'll just move on oh, scales that is once again fantastic now over the top for candy use that pace my use that pace I don't think Brissard is good enough to get the header he's a bit too well, not disrespectful a bit too small McCrory surely Brissard okay we've got I got a penalty I need to score this one because if I don't score it, I'm gonna look like an idiot. Alright, come on. Focus, Keen, focus. I'll let Duke take it. Yes, okay, bottom right. Yes, finally! Finally, I've scored a penalty and it was a beautiful one as well into the top right hand corner. Oh, Duke, thank you so much. I've finally scored a penalty. It's like it's New Year, all the way I'm celebrating. But we are now 3 1 up, which is a fantastic, um, but it's an achievement, um, a fantastic thing to be. Obviously, it's great when you're 3 1 up in a game. Duke celebrating very, ha he was, looked very happy with his facial, with his facial, facial expression. And we are now in the, we're, we have increased our leads by a goal. And it is now 3 1. Duke, that's his 10th goal of the season, which is, Pardon me, brilliant for Duke. I think that's not too far behind Mielski and he could get one back here. Ruse made a good save. Um, I think I said Ruse with a good save, so I might say Ruse with a good save. Should get that way, Stuart. He's not. Oh my god. Um, what a finish. It's another goal for Grieve. And all I can say is well done. I'll give credit where credit's due. That is a fantastic finish. Not going to blame Bruce there. It was a brilliant header. I was expecting Stuart to get it. And he's jumped over Stuart and he's... Honestly, that is a beautiful finish. Honestly, I'll have to give credit where credit's due. That was a very good finish. From Grieve. That's the second of the game. And St. Men have got a consolation goal. Oh, they've got to go back now. So, they're back in this game. And they could get... Oh, don't you dare. Thank God that was close. But, yeah, it's a bit of a setback. If they get one more, then they're back on level terms. But they've already got one back. So they're, they're, they've they're made... If they want to get a win, they've made their job a lot easier of getting a point as well. Kennedy into the box. If Pissarra wins that... Well, he didn't really... I think Baron should have been doing better there. Scales once again. Now over the top for Duke. Surely if he wins it, he'll get there. He's ran straight into Carson and took him out. So I guess that'll probably be it for the first half. Unless we get a chance here, which we do. Duke. Kennedy. Do you know what? Uh, maybe not. Bang. Blocked. Still got it. Baron on the volley. Blocked. McCrory. And it's come off his hand. So, yeah, someone have got a free kick and I guess that'll be it for the first half. Bacchus. Into the box. He's driving. Clarkson with a block. Didn't actually show you guys, but Ruse actually did a terrible pass and gave them the ball. I didn't actually put it, in, I've got actually put it in the video. 
But if we get that away, good save from Cal Ruse. That was panicking for a minute there. I thought they got an equaliser. But all we've got to do is j literally just try and score as many goals as we can to absolutely kill the game off. Because if they get one goal, it's it, we have it's going to be a lot harder because St Mirren will continue to press. And I am think they, if they get out equaliser, they can be they'll believe that they can win it. And Ruse does get out. That could have been a could have been the equaliser there. But we've just got to. I guess just press them, attack them and do our best to get as many goals as we can to end up winning this game because after our poor recent performances we're going to need a win here and we can't afford another defeat or a draw. A win is a, it's a must win game and we have to get as many, we have to just score as many goals as we can. It's a good strike from McCroy. Carson couldn't catch it, it was too powerful to catch it. Good ball from Kennedy. Stewart on the volley. Oh, it's a, okay. It's another penalty. How many penalties are we going to get in this blooming episode? But let's hope that I don't screw this up. Did we score the last one. Let's score this one as well. Right. Bit. Maybe a bit harder. Oh, what a pen from Duke. Straight into the top left hand corner. And that is a goal that we definitely needed. Duke. What a, that is a fantastic penalty. That is how you take a penalty. You don't chip it down the middle, you chip it down the middle. Well, you could. You don't do a funny wee run up. You take it like that and you blast it into the top corner and the keeper, when they save it, that is a sensational penalty from Duke. Side netting. Couldn't have asked for more from the wonderful man from Cape Verde. I think I, I must be his 11th goal of the season now. And I guess that is us now 4-2 up. And once again, if they get one goal back, then, which they nearly got, then that would mean that, you know, they've kind of got a chance because it's only 59 minutes in to the game. So St. Mary can still win this and anyone can win this game. This is open to anyone. And I've tried to, well, no one's really, I've not really got any options there, so I can't really hit it to anyone. And now Matty Kennedy. Going to drive on here. And he's lost it. It's quite a bit too easy there. Should be doing better, my Scales. Well, and um, what well, McKenzie making a good interception. If Bersowin gets that, which he doesn't, if he was a bit taller, he would have got it. I'm not, dis I'm not disrespecting him. No, I'm not disrespecting Bersowin, okay? He ain't, in real life, he doesn't really get headers because of his height. Like Messi. Doesn't really score that many headers or head on the ball that much. Good save, Ruse. Um, yeah, so St. Myrna has got a corner here, so as I said, if they do get one back, it is, kind of is actually game on. Oh God, get rid of it. Sure, what are you doing? Just get rid of it, I don't care. I don't care, it's out, it's red, it's, the ball's up. Okay, um, let's make some subs now. I kind of want to keep Duke on, but I want to put Mielski on as well. So we're going to put Mielski on, and can Duke, no, Duke can't play left wing, so Move uh, do, uh, Mielski up there, and we'll swap those two. And I guess Johnny Hayes, Mackenzie's been a bit quiet. Uh, Callum Roberts, because why not? And uh, we'll just leave it at that. I might make a sub later on in the game if I have to. But we're going a bit attacking so that um, I can get maybe a fifth goal, which would kill the game off. And maybe get. I'm just, I just want to score as many as I can so I can. Improve our goal difference. Oh, they're going to get one back. They have. That is terrible defending. And Ruse actually should be saving that because it's not that far under his foot. And they've just got another one back. So, yeah, this has been a bit of a, well, seven goals. It's been a very good, been a very high scoring game. And we need to make sure that we're the winners because if we're not, consequences will be in st at stake. And Mioski could come on. And score, which he's not. That was a terrible strike. Carson easily would have, could have saved that. And he did. Good ball from Bissard. Come on, Mielski, get a header. Come on. Mielski should be winning those headers. Back into the box. Mielski! Is that another penalty? Oh my goodness. I don't... I'm kind of complaining, but not complaining. But another one. Alright. Sorry, Mielski's taken. Mielski's taken. Top right. 
Oh yeah, oh my goodness, I'm just too good at penalties. I'm just, I've, just, I've cracked it now. Three penalties in one game, scored all three of them. Three of them in the top corners. What more could I ask for? I found it, I thought he'd saved it, but thankfully he's not. Miyoski gets another goal to add to his collection. And that is just a beautiful strike from Bojan Miyoski. Not even the best keeper in the world would save that penalty. And no wonder that Jim, no wonder Jim Goodwin is happy with it. So, imagine if they get another goal, I actually swear to, I don't know, I don't know. Like, I mean, if they get another, ask me off, he's 18th goal of the season. If they get another goal, nine goals in one game, like, that is mental. There's already been eight goals, and there could be nine if I score another one. But, a very chaotic game, I must say. I mean, I think we should be winning it at this point. I mean, this would be a great game to actually be at. Because the amount of goals have been scored. I mean, that won't, this won't really help our goal difference, which is a bit annoying. But I'm sure it'll be fine. Honestly, goal difference ain't a huge problem. Until, like, you get into, like, um... Tight if you're, like, same points and you need, um... Your goal difference to help you. Alright, see, so get Mielski in. Duke! Surely! Duke! Not saying anything. Not saying anything. Not saying anything. I've just said something, but I ain't saying anything more. Just forget that ever happened. And move on. Brophy, don't you dare, don't... Thank God. Ruse is absolutely... S okay, right, they've, they've put their keeper up. When it's 5-3. So... Okay, I don't know if this is a new feature in the game, but usually a goalkeeper will go up, alright. No, no way, you're joking me. I went for the shot because the keeper isn't there and Brissaron did that. If I'm being honest, that is dodgy. Um, it's not what I was being honest about, even though it was dodgy. Um, what I was saying was, if you're, so say you're, um, oh, should we six now? Hey, that's a sixth. Just skip it, don't need to see the replay. Nine goals in one game and we end up winning 6-3. That is mental. Could be more if there's time, if there is time to get one more. Don't really need one more, do we? Um, so what I was saying was like, I don't know if it's a new feature in the game or not, but usually in real life, a goalkeeper go up, will go up if they're drawing or... And, oh my goodness, another goal! 6-4. This is mental. This is actually mental. Thank God we've actually won. All right, there we go. Anyway, um, a goalie will usually come up if it's like one if they're drawing and they need to get a winner. That's the only time, or to get an equaliser, they won't come up if they're like if it's five three. They won't come up. They, they usually wouldn't come up. I get it's good. It's a good feature, but please, EA, make it make sense. Okay, we're on to deadline day now, and some of the deals that's happened. Danny almost gone to Liverpool. Um, nothing really else has happened. Um, it looks like Conor Simikas could end up going to Rangers, which is actually not really that bad of a sign-in for Rangers. Um, he's a good player. Um, what's his name? Lucas Hernandez off to Napoli. That's interesting. Napoli are doing well right now, so I don't blame him. Um, just advance an hour. Ivan Tony off to Marseille. That's a big loss. That is a massive loss for Brentford. Um, don't really care about the players. They've just moved teams there. Um, nothing really interesting there. Any big deals coming through? Jimenez off to Ber well, Atlanta, but Bergamo Calcio. Nothing really interesting there. Honestly, I don't really need to do anything, John. Oh, wait a minute. Do I need to do something? We can have a wee nosy. Well, oh yes, I need to sign Clarkson permanently. Have I done that yet? I've not. Need to get that done. Approach Dubai. Imagine I accidentally click terminate loan. Oh, I know you have to um, play money so you can be able to cancel it. Right, so we need to offer a transfer fee. And I'm going to go 1 point... Do I go 1.4? 1.48. Give me a bit cheeky. They want Jack McKenzie. How about Liverpool want Jack McKenzie? Interesting. So we'll go 1.5. Or 
sure they'll say yes to that. They want 2% selling costs, that's fine. Okay, right, there's going to be an issue with wages. So, I'll need to be able to give him what he wants. Um, it's going to be hard. So, his weekly wage is oh, he's currently on 14,500. I don't know how I'm supposed to pay that, but we're going to try. I mean, if it doesn't work, we're going to have to save up money, but I can't even adjust the budget. It's a bit of realism. But, alright. I am kind of glad I get to this. So, right, so I'm going to say 9,500. 9.8,000. And I've not even got enough to give him a flipping signing bonus. I'm just going to offer him 10k. And if he says no, he can walk out the door. He wants 55 grand. I can't pay that. I'm going to have to try just everything I have got. 9.8, okay, getting it down a bit. Just go, I'll just try it one more time. 9.8, all right, one more time. 10, nah, I can't risk it, nah, can't do it. It's impossible to sign him because we don't have any funds to do it. So if we lose him, we lose him. If he signs, he signs. Um, I want to get him on a permanent deal because he is a brilliant player. Um, who could we sell? I could sell maybe someone like Watkins. He is transfers. Oh, he's already transferred. But what if maybe I recall McLennan and try and get him to sold? I don't know if that would work because I don't think I'm going to use McLennan. I could try that, and then we'll just sell him. First, I change his kit number to ninety nine, not ninety eight. Oh yeah, Ramirez is gone, so it can't be 99. Transfer list him. I don't know how long's left. That, that could have been a mistake. But I need to get some money. I need to get the money to sign him. Oh, it does that every time. Alright, I don't... Yeah, there's no tick. There's no wait. There's not a hope. There's actually not a hope. I've actually messed up so bad. It's quite embarrassing, actually, the way I've messed up. Oh, my Jeremy Moreno went to Sevilla. So, what we're going to have to do now is... Remove him from the transfer list. I might as well still. Because I need to get rid of him. I, I need money. So, I'm kind of actually. So, thing is, if I sell him now, the money actually won't come in. So, Reese Orr is still 15 years old, so I can't promote him. Call him, call him Cunningham. Let's see his development. He could maybe be converted to a different position. Mm, I don't know if CDM is the right one. I don't think centre mid. Have a look. I don't like any of our centre back. I think CDM's actually a good bet. Striker four weeks. I mean, you could try it. We could, might as well try it. Um, could end up working out. Could not. We've got two keepers who I just don't think are going to make it. Really, Patrick Miller won't make it either. Mark Trainer has got a chance of making it. I think he could. Maybe just, might as well just promote him so we've got a third choice keeper. Paul Fitzgerald, he looks like a good player. We need to wait till he's 16 to promote him. So I guess we'll now just advance. I don't, we're not going to play the Hearts game in this episode. Okay, we've got a Watkins transfer offer. We'll accept that. The only problem is the money won't come in until the January transfer opens. Um, Mark Trainer is impressed. Guess let's go to the squad hub. Is it number 12? Nope. Number 12 for the Red Army. Not for any keepers. Not for anyone. 38. Well, give him that. And I guess we'll just leave it there. So we're playing Hearts at home. And it's a big game because we are currently sitting 6th on the table. And they are 4th. So I hope you guys did enjoy this episode of the Career Mode. Please do like and subscribe. And I shall see you soon for another video on my channel.